I baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Kat Von D is a Mexican-American tattoo artist known for being on the reality TV show LA Inc. She's also a secular goth songwriter known for her song Exorcism. And this infamous song she states So she is definitely sold out for the kingdom of darkness and wants nothing to do with the kingdom of God until she got baptized. It was really the Christians who were the worst and there was it was just really like sad to see like this critical display of judgment um, from 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 Christians, and I don't understand what would inspire that aside from like an, something that's more egoic because that isn't Christ-like, you know, to judge people or judge people's journey. It's like um, you would think that that most Christians would be like happy for you when you. Um, you know, come to this point in your life, especially when, when you get baptized. Like, baptism is so beautiful, and it's such a, a big landmark in, in time, for me at least. It was one of the most important days of my life. So it's, like, strange that these, these handful of, like, negative, critical Christians would, like, come at me in such a public way as well. Um, I think one of the biggest, or one of the, the comments that I would see like repeatedly would be like people saying that I was faking it and that this is just a PR stunt to get like clicks and follows and I don't or, or views which I think is so weird because I mean I don't my Instagram is not monetized so I don't get paid for how many views I get and like I mentioned before a majority of my followers are probably more turned off by my decision than actually like rooting for me I mean I know there's a big amount that is but like it was a big decision to like come out and share that with the world and I like I said I was expecting you know a lot of negativity coming from my existing fans and followers and friends and um, although I got a little bit it was not anything compared to the criticism that I got from Christians. This is the topic of today's video because Kat Von D just got baptized as a born again Christian and has been getting a lot of backlash from Christians on social media. I understand that we have to be vigilant and have discernment on people who claim to be born again Christians, but some of these comments are just unnecessary. And I believe her testimony and her baptism, I believe, is genuine. There is no need for all of the hate that she is getting. I think we should use discernment and just pray that she grows in her relationship with Jesus Christ. Commenting negative things can just hurt her and repulse her followers from coming to Jesus Christ. So we must be wise with their tongues, be slow to speak and quick to listen because Kat Von D is showing genuine repentance and faith in Jesus Christ our Lord. After announcing her faith as a Christian, she has taken actionable steps to show her sincerity with this announcement. I feel very sound in my faith. I, I don't, I'm not gonna be swayed by my neighbor to, um, become to join a cult as scripture says faith without works is dead but cat is definitely showing a lot of good works and spiritual transformation inwardly and outwardly because of her faith she even got her tattoos blacked out recently because she no longer practices witchcraft or wants to be a part of the occult or to be associated with who that person was who she was prior to becoming a born again woman of God. Uh, I'm sober, you know, I, I used to do drugs and drink and I no longer do that. Um, I can be around it and not be tempted, but I choose not to be around it. Like, the, especially the drug stuff, you know, like I, like if, if you're doing drugs in front of me, I, I, I'll, I'll leave. Her post of her getting baptized is no longer on social media, which I assume is because of all of the hate that these so-called Christians are attacking her with. I am so grateful that she came to Jesus Christ, but these so-called Christians need to realize that they're not just hurting Kat Von D with these hurtful comments, but also millions of her followers. Think about it. If Kat Von D 
is truly saved and you are trying to prevent millions of souls from being saved through her, think of the blood on your hands during judgment day. The church has to have more discernment and grace on these topics. You know, I, I believe that all people have the ability to change. You know, um, Ted Bundy on his like last, um, you know, in her final interview before being killed, uh, had turned his life to God. Outside of these internet Christians chasing the next click for their gossip videos on Kat, she has also made significant changes outside of her tattoos. She has recently thrown out all of her witchcraft and renounced it because it is demonic and doesn't want this influence in her household anymore. If you're not aware, witchcraft can cost up to millions of dollars. So she is definitely seeking after the kingdom of Christ and not worldly treasures. The best thing we can do in this situation is to pray for her. She was a gothic rock star and is married to a man that has not yet come to Christ with a very secular influence around Obviously, her. I have, I have people that, that go through things and like, um, you know, and, and I pray for them just as much. And I wish that like, I think that's what I wish the most was like, if these people genuinely cared about me or my husband, instead of like, picking us apart or picking him apart like i would hope that you would just pray for us instead you know because it's already like hard enough in real life to like you know live through through a lot of this stuff you know and like then to just publicly like harass or humiliate you, you know? the best thing that we can do is to hope that she finds discipleship from trusted mature christians to help her in her relationship with jesus christ so she can be guided correctly because faith without discipleship usually leads to heresy so right now i just pray that kat von d is able to find proper discipleship and help her to be used as a vessel for those around her to come to jesus christ in jesus name Amen. Christians, we got to do better. Hey guys, if you're watching this, it's because you made it to the end. And I just wanna make this message to announce that I am starting to do Patreon. And I just created new merch, if you haven't noticed. It's called Make America Born Again. And so I'm making this merch and I'm making a Patreon because I want you guys to be able to support this channel. If you guys enjoy the content I'm putting out, it's just a nice way for you guys to support me so that I can keep making videos and content for you guys full time. Another way you guys can go ahead and donate is go ahead and buy me a coffee in the description below because your boy needs a lot of coffee so that I can keep pumping these good videos out for y'all. But thank you guys so much for your support, your likes, your shares, your comments, all of that engagement helps me so much to keep on going. And I hope that you guys have a blessed day.